Alright then. Um, what was I doing? Ran um, off, I suppose. Okay. Um, what was I doing? Okay. I remember. Let's go back out here. Um, so I had to assassinate three people. I got through two of them. The, the bride and the son of the general, I think it was. Now I gotta do the third one. There's enemies. Oh. I guess they respawned. Who's there? I swear. Wait. Yeah. I knew I heard something. We're routed. Yeah. Uh. Is that all of them? I think that was all. Let me see. Yeah. Just try to relax, Vizara. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it, this never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ah! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know, but we've got bigger problems right now. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Hmm. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. <laughs> it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving. About the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood, and Astrid was just a pretender. 
Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Bested by a fool. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. Asking me what it was not for you. I didn't realize they had rooms back here. Me. Look around a little bit. Let's take the book. Yeah. Have you found something? Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? Brand new sanctuary, dawn star. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. Hello, Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then... Send that jester's twisted little soul to the void, in as many pieces as possible. Right. No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. But to go this far, to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary, Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. Oh, it's ancient. Apparently one of the first sanctuaries in Skyrim. It hasn't been used by the Brotherhood in close to a hundred years. If you say Cicero has gone there, it stands to reason that he's familiar with the place. That means you'll be fighting him on his own ground. Tread carefully. Look, the Dark Brotherhood is a family. This sanctuary is a family. And we've always welcomed those shunned by society. Werewolves, wizards, eternal ten-year-old vampires. What does it matter? In truth, I've rarely met a lunatic I haven't liked. Cicero's problem isn't his madness. It's an adherence to an ancient, outmoded way of life. The Night Mother's ways simply are not our ways. He just couldn't accept that. And now he'll have to pay the price. I took okay. that prancing fool into my Something home, else. and this is how he Boy, repays you... me. All right, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe Cicero coming here wasn't the best thing that could have happened. 
But even I didn't anticipate this. Well, you know the old saying, when life gives you lemons, go murder a clown. Burn that little Jester Should have figured the little lunatic would completely snap. Going after Cicero now would be a fool's errand. That little Jester is currently being digested in Arnbjorn's stomach. Mark my words. Go on now. I believed in Cicero, but he's betrayed. Cicero destroyed any sympathy I may have had for him when he wounded Vizara. Kill the fool and be done with it. Go. Do what has to be Yes, do not underestimate Cicero. A man like that, small and foolish, is easy to mock. To underestimate. Don't make the same mistake I did. Kill well and often. Make Arab grab shadow mirror. This must be that beauty. Please, excuse me. Here we go. That could be too far. Check. Oh, he's far. Oh, I'm dumb. Um, guess I do go to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm wanted in Dawnstar. So we'll see how this works. Not that. Yeah, I don't think I have any stolen goods on me, so. I can just. pay the fine. I don't think it's too much. Oh, we get off here. Yeah, sex. Oh. The wind blows bitter cold in this place. Stay away from me to call, Shalomir. Yeah, will be fine. Stop! In the name of the Yarl! <sighs> My order of the Yarl, stop right there. I guess you're smarter than. I don't have anything that can. You never talk much about yourself, do you, Hor? I swear, these past 30 years you've been at my side. Is that a dragon? It's a dragon. Oh, 
Figured Astrid would send you. Ugh, what gave it away? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. All right, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. Alright then. So obviously, it's not this one, it's not this one. It's not this one, so. But I kinda wanna see what happens. See if they have any mech enchantments or anything on them. What to do? Not fold. Actually, pretty good. for now. 
items here. Yep. Who's there? I knew I heard something. Where'd you come from? 
me. I surrender. <laughs> oh, you prefer to listen, eh? Of course, of course, the listener listens. <laughs> a joke, a funny joke. <laughs> I get it. Then listen to this. Don't kill me. Let poor Cicero live. I attacked the strumpet bastard. I did. And I'd do it again. Anything for our mother? Return to the pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. <laughs> but lie. Yes, lie. Lie and let me live. See, should I kill Cicero or not? I'm leaning towards just just killing him.
All right, so. Basically, if I let him live, I can get him as a follower, which might be interesting. Amber. Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Sickus will judge us both. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Right then. So, is it true? Mm -hmm. The temple contract? Well, I certainly won't deny my... It's the part with there the severed head I find most Took impressive. Took your sweet My time compliments. dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. You know, maybe I was wrong about you after all. Anyone who's smart enough to shut up and listen can't be all bad. In my, um, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. Uh, <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan, who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, 
And when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow, and <laughs> you've already taken care of him. Well, I do know the gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Uncommon taste. It was published a few years ago. It became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. But his chocolate pate gives me the runs. Yes, Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor canceled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart. Kept the gourmet around, in case things changed. And so, the gourmet has remained in seclusion, somewhere in Skyrim, on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> but you'll fix that. Remember, the Markov Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Moran. This must be that beautiful. Wait, I know you. Oh, yeah. Next season, nephew. Next season for sure. Old Dwarven City underneath the keep. The Schuenzel. Best to clear if you don't want to. <clears throat> you little thief! Wait, wait, I can't talk to him. Ran off. Must be gone. Ran off, I suppose. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Where's money's on the... Alright, let me actually try to do that right.
Don't bother with Tacitus. Useless. I'm Gorz's assistant. I help her with the forge. The Silverblood family will be heard. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a Richman. Who are you? What do you want? The... the gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The gourmet's an orc. He stayed at the <coughs> Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? So, we're done? Done and done. Murdered in cold. Blood. City, I am once again. Where'd you come from? I'll have your head. Ah! I'll try and make this quick. Well, well, another maggot to squash ah! beneath my boot. Who's there? Guess right here. Let's just go this way. What enemies? You can't beat me. Hmm. I'll gladly kill you myself. Come and face the force. 
Is that? Not bear. What is that? It's a Horus. Uh, Horker. Oh, that is not. That is not. Right now, they're just gonna kill him. We have to talk to him. I'm trying to find where I can put him afterwards. Decent spot. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. I'm just here on holiday.
I can take this, take this. I don't think I need those. We look in here and see if there's anything worth. See, I think I'm done with these stealthy stuff, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to put my other armor on. Let's see, what like this. This. I just gotta remember I have those. Why do I have these? Oh, because I was in jail for a minute. Okay. certainly travels fast, doesn't it? I'm just trying. I'm the so weapon. the prodigal the murderer returns. And the gourmet? Poison or a good bite so I say. gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid. Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and a little what something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing. For being so damn curmudgeonly. Come it's on, called please. the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. When I. I'm wolf, I am treachery incarnate. And then, then, then I'll be no So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. <laughs> Look at you. So calm, so confident. I do believe you were born for this task. So let's begin.
Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Right. It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable, cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death, so don't even think about it. It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. Remember, right. when you kill, we all wield the blade. This must be that beautiful... These Lindor truffles, truffle <clears throat> things. I got like a whole bag of them for Christmas. I'm pretty good. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed. And my working days are done. What is it? Wanderer like you must have the city's plenty crawling of crawling with Imperial yeah. Legion, and you know but what? I'm, I'm still nervous. Lazy and useless. Stop right there. The tower is off limits, and what's this now? Uh, Order of His Eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet? I. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. I'm, you're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You should be half the man he is. Mm -hmm. You misunderstand. It's just a feel for him, is all. On another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... I guess right. I always imagined the great gourmet was a wood elf. You see, only someone with the knowledge of woodland herbs could combine... Actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. We'll begin as soon as you're wearing the hat. Check the shelf over there. Wouldn't want the Emperor mistaking you for someone else now, would we? Is the chef. Oh, just look at you. 
Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Sure, let's go for it. Oh, just look at you. Actually, let me look at this first. I want to see what it looks like. I'm just rude. How much is that? Can I eat it? That doesn't kill you. I have fifteen health. All right. Well, then let me get this now. I kind of expected it to kill me. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook porch. only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? I get it. This is a test, right? You want to see how well I know the potage le magnifique. Well then, I think a pinch of frost salt should do the trick, right? Now what? My choice then? Oh, very well, I think we should add some chorus eggs yeah. for additional flavor. So there's a, there's a quote unquote correct recipe, a like gag recipe. Okay, uh, let me see. Thistle, yes, uh, let's try that. Just a sprig or two. Accepting the coin. My choice? Hmm. All right then, tomatoes. Simple yet infinitely flavorful. Don't you agree? Well, I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? No. Oh, what is this, some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry, of course it's your most famous recipe after all. All right then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Aren't you even the least bit nervous after everything that's happened? You mean the wedding? My cousin's apparent murder? An unfortunate misunderstanding. No more. Cold need, hot tempers. These things happen. Quite. Yet that recent Here we are. With the young Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Yes. An unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone.
truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. The gourmet! Killing an this emperor can be useful, but befriending one, now that's beneficial, as I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It, I, I think something's wrong. I... Ah. Oh, God. The gourmet and the chef have poisoned the Emperor. Get them! I was hoping he would have something, like, on him. A nice, expensive ring or something. Jewelry. That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an to assassin betrayal. for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary's being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. Make sure there's nothing left to bury. Yep. or taste the Yar's justice. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense?
So no sanction anymore. Where'd you come from? Never should have come from. Never should have come from. That sucks. He's unkillable. It's another city I'm meant to do now. Gotta remember. Well, it doesn't matter too much if I remember or not. I'll find out when I get there. Where'd you come from? Oh. Ah, yeah! Done and done. Are they? I see no one. Ah! Oh. Done and done. There's someone there. Time to end this little game.
dodge. Does it matter? These guys are really weak. Considering most of us are now dead, I, I assumed as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <coughs> well, maybe I did. But you saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <coughs> so, thanks. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <coughs> roasted alive. Come on. For a way out, <laughs> we are not going to burn to death in our <laughs> own damn sanctuary. Listener, I am your only salvation. Come, embrace me. I'm going as fast as I can. 
You stupid she-devil. I don't see you... ...helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. One more! Oh, so the so oh. dead. Is dead. Werewolf was dead. Is he here? The yeah. vampire alive. There. Can you get it open? So there's the psycho I girl. I think so. And Just hold on it? a moment. You must speak with Astrid. And Astrid. Here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. I don't know, Babette. Looks like he may have suffered a head wound. Best not let him out of our sight. <coughs> Sorry, I probably should be like. It's not bad. Twenty four. It's not bad. Is that what we're saying? Uh, shh. <coughs> Please. <coughs> there is much I have to say. And not much time. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus. Marrow. He said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, by Sithis, I was such a fool. Mm -hmm. All of this, it's all my fault. Mm -hmm. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you. As I've killed everyone else. Mm. Don't you see? It was me. I set you up. Mm -hmm. Wanted you dead. I betrayed you. The Night Mother. Everything I hold dear. And now Marrow has betrayed me. I just wanted things. Uh, to stay the way they were. Before Cicero, before the Night Mother, before you, I thought I could save us. I was wrong, mm -hmm. but you're alive, so there's still a chance, a chance to start over, rebuild. That's why I did uh, this, don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my... <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the blade of woe, I so that you can that. see it Sorry. through. You must kill me. <laughs> oh, two points. <laughs> what? Why? What's what's Thank you. Thank That's you. Much harder than you need to be. Astrid. By the sands I still can't wrap my head around it. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. 
Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mede II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier. At the Bannered Mare in White Run, he will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nazir of your plans, for you are the listener and must bind this family together. Precious last quest of the storyline. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. What? Well, what did she say? Amand Motier? But that would mean. You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family. Hmm. <laughs> All right, then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Motier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking. The Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this emperor business, meet that bet and me there. I'll find some way to move the night mother. But don't worry. Now go. And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. I was hoping you'd say that. All right. Here I can sell some stuff as well. Real quick. Let me know if you see anything you like. Yeah. I'd even... Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. using this because I don't need sneaking anymore. <clears throat> I'll sell the rest of my stuff later on. Do 
this. And I'm gonna stop by High Rothgar to put some stuff in the chest. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. The security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. By the gods. You you're alive. But I had heard your sanctuary. Please. You mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead. The true Emperor. I still do. It was Morrow. He You mean after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still honor the contract? Why, this is astounding news! Wonderful news! The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Well, I don't know. It's in the Solitude Inlet. That's the channel just north of the docks. I suppose you should go to the docks and swim? Surely you're joking. This is the true Emperor, not some half Septim lookalike. He'll be surrounded by elite bodyguards, I'm sure. You'll have your work cut out for you. Still, everyone assumes the Dark Brotherhood has been completely destroyed. They may be a bit more lax than usual. Ah, <laughs> yes. I can imagine you'd want to settle that score. Last I heard, he was at the Solitude docks conducting the Emperor's departure. Please, right. make haste. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. We won't get a chance like this again. So, before I go to... Wait, is that Solitude? Okay. I have a bounty there. Go here real quick and drop some stuff off. here first. Maybe one more. I think this is a normal one. There's milk chocolate, dark chocolate, caramel, and white chocolate. You talk to Egg Brothers. Deja has no words for you. Hmm. Weapons and come quietly. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Oh, let's fight them all. Just a scratch. 
It's aggravating. Because if I can kill her, then the bouncy will go away. But I can't. Done and done. There's more. Just gotta find a way on. And that's the last one. All right, enough of this. Come on, let's get something to eat. Did you hear something? I knew I heard something. I thought I heard something. Done and done. But I wasn't quiet. This point, should I even try to hide? Where'd you come from? Just ah! give up! Alright. Is I don't That'll teach you. Spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. The challenger is dead. Never should have come here.
I'm not gonna go into depth just yet. I'm just gonna like. Who's there? <laughs> done and done. I'm gonna go this way first, because I don't want to go the correct way just yet. Where'd you come from? Really much anything here. And once more, I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told him, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. You and I have a date with destiny, it would seem. But... So it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? You will hear me out then? Good. You will kill me. And I've accepted that fate, but... Regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. So I ask of you a favor, an old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you have been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? Well, perhaps you'll at least consider it. Hmm? What about? Now, on to the business at hand. Well, I won't fight you. 
So we may as well get this over with. Ooh. Once I finish this mission, I'll end stream there. I'm tired. I saw you. Got some good pieces. I don't claim to be the best. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Are you married? You look the type. Make sure you treat your wife with the respect you deserve. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look. Ah, you're Once back. Kyle gets them, they're got. I know, I know. I received the news not moments ago. <laughs> this is glorious, my friend. You may not realize it, but you have served the Empire, indeed all of Tamriel, in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have. Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money. And let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Mm. Your payment awaits. And don't worry, I'm not stupid enough to betray you. Mm, should I kill him? What would happen? I mean, it looks like all I get from is a few gems. He has some rare gems on him, that's it, so. And I would d I'd definitely get a bounty mm -hmm. from that if I did it. So I might as well just not. I have plenty of money. Just gonna drop this gold. He didn't like betray me or anything, so he's all right, I guess.
Where'd you come from? That'll teach you. That's a pretty good amount. <clears throat> pretty good amount. I was always taught to avoid these types of games. I think I see why now. Hmm. And if only looks with armies around. Drop three more. Let me check something. So it looks like I have to be using this with enemies around. Which makes sense. What? Where am I going? Okay. Well, what word of the Emperor? Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? Uh, 
That's how. He's been good to me so far. Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. Alright. It is done! You know I can see Emperor Titus Mede II lies dead, and the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. Yes. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. Speak with the dishonored skull. At the Bard's College in solitude. solitude. Accept his gold, then eliminate the target. So begins a contract bound in black. So I'll do, I'll start with these two tomorrow in my Monday stream. And uh, this is where I'm going to end stream tonight. Alright, see ya.